Famous people love honey. They also love cars. But which one of them has the best taste in cars? Well, the last time that Nolan and I were at a fancy Hollywood party, we asked some famous people that we know what they drove. And today, we're gonna rank them. I'm James, he's Nolan. Let's talk about some cars. Welcome to Donut. Now before we start, let's give a big thanks to today's sponsor, which is... Correct, it's Grammarly, the digital writing assistant that helps you confidently communicate by not only catching spelling, grammar, and punctuation, but also suggestions on your tone, clarity, and vocabulary engagement in your emails, social posts, and even your YouTube scripts. Exactly what I did for this segment. Donut is a bunch of car people making videos, and we know how easy it is to get caught up in the technical details. But if we can't communicate those details clearly to non-car people, all of that knowledge is wasted. So that's why Grammarly is there to help polish the writing and ensure the messaging is as powerful as me. Whether it's for school, work, or you're shooting a video with your friends, it's important to understand how your tone is coming off to others. And when you upgrade to Grammarly Premium, you get helpful features like tone rewrite suggestions to ensure your tone is coming across the way you want it to. Positive, solution focused, and confident. For example, saying you may want to consider downloading Grammarly today lacks confidence, right? But with one click, I can confidently say you should consider downloading Grammarly today. It's that easy. So level up your writing and tone by heading to Grammarly.com slash donut, sign up for an account, and if you'd like to level up your writing and tone, upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off. First up is everybody's favorite Malcolm in the Middle. Talk about Frankie Muniz. Now, if you don't know who Frankie Muniz is, he was the guy from Sharknado, Heart of Sharkness. <laughs> More recently, Frankie announced that he's racing in the Arca Menards NASCAR series. There's like the Cup Series, there's Xfinity, then there's Arca before that. Frankie has owned some rich guy cars, like a Maserati GT, a Porsche 356 Speedster, but the most famous car that he's probably ever owned was the worst car from the first Fast and the Furious, Jesse's 1995 Volkswagen Jetta. He paid $100,000 for it in 2002 and recently sold it at Barrett-Jackson. It is kind of neat that he owned that, but because it's that car in particular, it's only it's only kind of neat. Not like mm -hmm. if he owned it's the cool. Supra. Right, yeah. You know, if he the owned Charger. the Supra or any of the cars from that opening <laughs> race, those were to all be cool. Those are all cool. But for some reason, he went after the Mark III Jetta. And I like Mark Threes. You do. I don't want to knock him for that, though. No, that's not his fault. Good way to start the list. Keeping up with Frankie on the track is hard. But keeping up with the next celeb on this list is pretty easy. She even has a show called that. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Kardashians. I'm talking about <laughs> Kendall Jenner. While her siblings skew more towards cars like Lamborghini Urusus, and Rolls Royce Conan's. K Jen has a more sophisticated palette, okay? Her garage, James, includes a C1 Corvette, mm -hmm. a Porsche Carrera 4S, mm. and a classic Eldorado convertible. But the car that's maybe the most surprising is her 1965 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck. That thing's cool. It's really easy for rich people to become into cars okay. and just get. Oh, okay expensive yeah. stuff that's cool naturally by being expensive, but to have things like an Eldorado convertible, yeah. a C10, that's mm -hmm. uh, like, I admire that. I think that's really cool. I also want to point out that her Porsche is not like a new Porsche. She didn't just go to Porsche dealership and say, hey, what's the new hotness or whatever. It's a 993, yeah. which is one of the coolest gens. Speaking of people who know Kendall Jenner, ASAP Rocky, he's a huge Lamborghini fan, but apparently he's also a huge Lamborghini fan. He's got a Gallardo, an Aventador, and a Huracan Performante. But when he's not driving those, he's rolling around in this immaculate Mercedes 190E Evo. He also appears in the latest Need for Speed game, Need for Speed Unbound as a character that you race against. Inspired by the Mercedes Evo 2, it's got a genuine 2.3 liter Cosworth inline four under the bonnet, mated to a five-speed manual transmission. It's got Recaro's, 
It's got a freaking roll cage. It's got lightweight door cards. What do you think, James, Dude. of ASAP Rocky's car collection? His car collection is cool. Kendall's is like actual cars, though. Mm -hmm. The Evo is very cool. Cool, like so cool, like styled so cool. Having three Lamborghinis is cool. If I had three Lamborghinis, I would like walk to the garage and be like, that's cool. <laughs> you know, 100%. Yeah. I love Lamborghinis. But Kendall Jenner drives this Porsche like every day. Whoa, Nolan, that's a cool shirt. Oh. Where'd you get that? Thanks, James. I got it at donutmedia.com. Part of our legacy collection. These are older designs that we've freshened up a little bit, put them back up for sale. You guys have been wanting this one in particular. I get DMs about this still. For sure. And uh, it's back on sale. So go to donutmedia.com. Buy the Legacy Collection. There's a lot more besides this one. Yeah, I haven't had one of these for a while, so I'm glad that we're making them again so I can wear it. Don't immediately come, get you one. Besides rappers, James, another kind of famous person is a streamer. And you might know who this streamer is. His name is Ludwig. He had a month-long subathon last year and recently purchased his own dream car. What is it? What is it? It's a Japan-only Subaru that he imported from Japan. <laughs> I'm, of course, referring to the one and only 1997 Subaru Sambar Classic K Car. The Subaru Sambar Classic K Car. That's right. K Car is a teeny tiny baby vehicle exclusively sold in Japan. Now, the engines have to be under 660 cubic centimeters, AKA CCs. Subaru Sambar is a common work truck in Japan because streets are tight. Yeah. Ludwig snapped this bad boy up for 550 hundred bucks. <laughs> no. A sandbar for only 550 no, no. hundred, hundred bucks? 5,500 bucks, plus another 1,800 bucks to import it over from Japan, making it the cheapest car on this list by a wide margin. <laughs> he says the reason he got it was because one time he rented a lime green Porsche and drove around Hollywood, and he said that he felt like a piece of shit, and it was too much of a flex. So he got this. I would choose the Porsche, FYI. Is it cute? Yes. Adorable. Endearing. Endearing. Inspired. Mm -hmm. It's cool to not be cool. Right. I'm gonna say under Frankie. All okay. right. Hey, Nolan, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's the freaking rain on my window. <laughs> Missy Misdemeanor Elliot has a pretty cool car collection. She's got an AMG GT. I like those a lot. She's got a Lexus LFA. Okay. Uh, but all of those are pedestrian, dare I say, compared to her more coveted cars. A Spiker C8 Spider. You ever heard of her? <laughs> that's cool that she has one. That's, that's super like a, cool that she has one. Really that is like, like inspired and deep. Yeah, it's a deeper cut. It's a deep that's cut. Cool. Dude. I love that. So the C8, if you don't know, is a really weird looking Dutch car with a 4.2 liter V8 that puts out around 400 horsepower. They only made 250 of them which makes it one of the most rarest cars on the list. Okay. That goes without saying, it's Dutch. And, dude, she also owns an Enzo. A freaking Enzo. Dude. That's a car that you can't even just go buy. No, no. You gotta be like, hey, Ferrari, may I buy an Enzo? Yeah. And, dude, she used to have a Diablo. The coolest Lamborghini. That's one of the coolest Probably. Ones. It got wrecked, though, by someone else. How is Missy Elliott not more regularly in the conversation? Probably because you know I mean? she, like, doesn't want to be. Really cool cars though. Yeah, and so many bangers. Yeah. Dude, uh, I'm gonna say coolest collection so far. Dude, for sure. <laughs> well, James, Missy's not the only one to flip it and reverse it. Our next celeb on the list does just that, but on a skateboard. A kick flip! <laughs> yeah, we're talking about our friend pro skater Ishad Ware. He's been in videos yes, with us. Yes, he has. Uh, this dude loves BMWs more than anything else. Yeah, well, probably not more than skateboarding. Not more than skateboarding. <laughs> His first Beamer was a 1990 325i coupe, which he whipped around for a bit before someone cut him off in traffic, resulting in a complete loss. Or so he thought. Whoa, <laughs> what a twist. BMW actually reached out to Ashad after he posted about the wreck on Instagram, and together they formed a plan to replace the wreck car, make the new one better than ever. They started with a 1991 318 IS. Ooh, uh, the, the baby M3. A shop called Castro Motorsports handled the build. They swapped out the four cylinder for a supercharged S52 inline six from the E36 
M3. He also has a Chevy Love truck that he plans to turn into a drag car and a 911 that he wants to turn into a Safari Porsche. So pretty cool. Uh, not, not the biggest collection on our list here, but as far as variety goes, I love it. it it's a pretty nice three car solution. He's got a cool little coupe, he's got a truck, then he's got a cute little coupe that he's gonna turn into a truck. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. I think these are really cool, because these are, this is cool to me because they, this is like our level of mm -hmm. car. Mm -hmm. Like this is a, these are cars that we would yeah. buy and build, yeah. and that makes me feel like we're friends, mm -hmm. which we, are. Like uh, it's not, I mean, it's dude. Not, it's like, not cool you can't, to see all yeah. that. Now, we've already talked about our first gen Ford Lightning before in a video, but it turns out that wasn't just a hit single. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Oh. She's got a bunch of cool cars. Consistency, just like her music. Your Honor, I would like to submit to the court this piece of evidence. This is a 1970 Chevy. El Camino. Nice. That's cool. Dude, that's really good looking. It's nice looking. It's got the it's got a little V8, but you know what? That's probably more, a lot more reliable. She also has a 69 Nova SS. That's you know, yeah. Nova's are cool. uh, and that's a really great year. That's like muscle car. She's got a 67 Mustang. She's got an old Bronco. Mm, that's good. That Nova's good looking, dude. Really good. Really good. Now, James, all these celebrity cars so far have been special or unique in some way. But we want to take this moment to recognize that sometimes celebrities are just normal people. Yeah, we're just normal <laughs> people. And that it's okay to drive a normal car sometimes. Yeah, we drive normal yeah. cars sometimes. So that's why we included on our list our next celebrity, Christian Bale. In his roles, Mr. Bale has driven amazing cars like the Mucielago he crashed uh, in uh, The Dark Knight, or the GT40 he drove in Ford v Ferrari yeah. when he was playing Ken Miles. Dude. Awesome. But when Christian isn't acting, he drives a truck near and dear to our hearts, a 2003 Toyota Tacoma. He drives the same car as us. That's awesome. That's stock, that's stock truck. If you watched High Low, the Tacoma season, we compared our cars versus a stock Tacoma exactly like that. Yeah. And what's even crazier, James, this isn't even like a 4x4 version. It's not like the top trim. This is just a pre-runner TRD. So it's got the suspension from the 4x4 TRD version, but it's just two-wheel drive. And better than that, it's pre-owned, and you know that it's got that old Toyota smell. I mean, this is like, he's cool. Yeah. yeah. Like, is and the, it's a cool truck, and it's cool that he has it. Yeah. Right? But... It's not I, the coolest. Right? right, it's not the coolest, if we're being honest. But it, it makes him cool. Before we get into our final car, I, want, I just want to acknowledge that there's a ton of celebrities that have cool cars. And we've talked about a lot of them before. Um, surprise, guys. Rich people have cool stuff. We haven't talked about this next guy. I'm talking about a podcaster. Hmm. No one. Okay. But one that could eat every other podcaster for lunch. <laughs> UFC announcer Joe Rogan, dude. Oh. Starting with a Mark IV Supra that he drove when he was an up and coming stand up in New Jersey. Uh, he also owns a 1971 Ford Bronco with a five liter Coyote swap. That's sick. It's built by Icon. But maybe his most impressive ride is one of the 25 Gunther Works remastered 911s. Every nut and bolt of this 993 911 was completely and tastefully Rita, the four liter flat six was upgraded with billet parts and ITBs, individual throttle bodies. And it was that, it's got the stock transmission, uh, but with custom gear. Oh, that's good. I've never been more nerve wracked and scared yeah. to drive a car before. Uh, and it's amazing. So these are nice, but are they as nice as the other ones? Thank you guys so much for watching this video and everything else on Donut Media. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Again, check out DonutMedia.com. Uh, we just released a bunch of our old shirt designs that we found on a hard drive and we're really stoked about them. I'm really excited to replace some of my ruined ones. Don't ask how I ruined them. Go hit up a friend, grab a camera, talk about some cars, dare to pick up a wrench and work on a car. And also remember that thing I said at the beginning about celebrities liking honey? Here's a list of five celebrities that are also beekeepers. Morgan Freeman. Leonardo DiCaprio. Flea. Scarlett Johansson. Beyonce. They don't call her Queen Bee for nothing. Bye. <laughs>